Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here yet again with more La Milana 2. In the last episode, we defeated a strangely named uh, spider tar giant thing, uh, Vuku Kaklix. Or however you're supposed to pronounce that. I don't know. Why don't you write about it in your blag? We also uh, got ourselves some handy dandy caltrops as well as the uh, future development company software that uh, lets us go into go straight to Valhalla using the Holy Grail. It's a very handy thing. Also, I keep saying to myself I'm going to switch out the D-pad on this controller, but I never do. Pay for it by getting spiked in the face. Maybe in the feet. Seems more like in line with what's happening here. I still do not know the significance of the Twelve Thrones. But yeah, the Trickster is somewhere. Or so we are led to believe. I'm assuming it's that child we've been seeing uh, hanging around Valhalla, but it's hard to say for sure. Is there anywhere in this area we have been? Uh, yeah, there's that area over there, which I don't quite understand. Hey, we've got our uh, handy Castlevania stairs for uh, getting down. Also, Rakshasa uh, does not take kindly to people being in his territory, evidently. We haven't needed much with the uh, grapple claw yet either, which is kind of curious. A malicious spirit outside. This bugler does not seem to be breaking, which is very nice, actually. We can get rid of that text uh, somewhere. Yeah, we can get rid of this. go all the way up. Don't know what purpose that will serve us, though. <coughs> if all else fails, we can uh, try the corridor of blood and see where that gets us. So yeah, Shrine of the Frost Giants. Okay, Zoria. Hmm, interesting. So this little uh this little ghosty ghost is cute. Supernatural being Belor awaits beyond the eternally frozen sea of lands. Belor keeps guard over the garb handed down by the Anunnaki. Those who seek to don the garb must pass the pillar of swirling light, for then neither heat nor cold shall ail. Ooh, a Varia series, so. 
Yeah. Yeti. Most adorable Yeti ever. This cabin Poka. Yes. Seems like uh, quite the dangerous enemy. Uh, we might not want to be here after all. Ice Fire Tree Cod. It's been a while since we've been there, and I uh, am kind of curious to see what else we can do there. I can do that. <laughs> Why didn't I try that while I was fighting mid hard? Like, seriously. Stupid, stupid dumb. That is me. Ooh! Until we get a whip upgrade of some kind. Or even the axe. The axe would be great to have. Oop. Where's my butt? Oh. Did it break after all? Dang it. Oh, fine. Let's see. How fast is... Lava hurts us very fast. Okay. It's not an insta-kill like the poison lava, but we don't want to be falling in there. Oh, do I say that, but it's not doing me very much good. Oh, yeah. New message. What? That pillar looks like it's been scrubbed and polished pretty well. The surface that smooth, you could probably grab on with the grapple pull and swing all the way around to the other side, huh? Okay, try pressing the directional toward the pillar and pressing the jump button. Which pillar are we talking about here? Picture on that tablet. I've seen it before. It's a tool for praying that we seventh children use. It's called a totem pole. If you have that, you should be able to record things to the Holy Grail. It's like a special Holy Grail tablet. Similar to the replica of the Holy Grail tablet in the village, but it looks like it can only record locations. Okay. Sing, bird of prey. Beauty begins at the foot of you. Gaze upon that foot. Danger lava. Yes. The fairy that discovers secrets in their hand a small key. Keys are nice.
killed her. Lindworm. Now. <clears throat> Dragons born out of chaos with bodies not unlike those of humans. If crystals on their backs that store elemental powers of fire and ice, which they convert into magical attacks. Cool. Ugh! Ooh. I'd better, uh... I'd better return to the village. <laughs> The 1 HP panic party! Good times. Build hot springs. They're good, but also old. Alright, let's, uh, let's do that, but better. So yeah, we can just kind of do that. <laughs> Whoops. I also wouldn't mind getting finding that item that uh, that raises your attack speed. It's been a while since they've had one of those sounds. Super knee. I like that. Oop. Can't do very much with it though. Alright, we're gonna wanna jump across somehow. Yeah, like this. Whoops. Are you stop like launching yourself at me? Oh dang it, the data disappeared. I hold you fully responsible for this. Sometimes this D pad just does not want to respond. It's the weirdest thing. I have no idea how we're going to get in there. Well, I do, but it's not going to be pretty. It's going to need to grab or be a better or whatever. We're going to need to be able to double jump, is what I'm trying to say. Talisman that can uncurse treasure, a red jewel, the only of its kind in this world, a jewel of the reddest red, representing a mother's love. There. 
Garn. That is your name. Fierce dog that guards the underworld. It has a tough shell running from its head over its back. <clears throat> okay. Don't trust that lava. Oh wait, there's a there's a door there. Power is stolen from the fairy king is mine. The power to control flames lies in Surf's room. If you desire this power, then bring me a shining scythe. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Ice fire treetop, the searing treetop born of the Valley of Chaos. Alright, now we can get up here. Cool beans. Eagle perch atop the head of a large kind of heart. What is that? I guess it's part of the background, but it's still kind of crazy looking. You who seek the icy treetop acquire the power to surpass Nidhogg. Only those who swing around the icy pillar will reach the icy treetop. The branch lands of the third children who are punished for imitating the mother's power lies beyond. Definitely just happened. What happens if we go up? Oh, what's all this? There it is, we can get it. Oops, so we're not stupid. I know, big assumption to make, right? It is the map of the Ice Fire Tree Hops. Okay. Tree Hops, yes. Moose Bell Hine. Gah! 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 Pull! Gah! Pull! That was an adventure. That's what we want. Oh no! That's a thing that can happen. La Mulana, guys! <laughs> I gotta do this again. Okay, map get. 
I want to figure out what's up there, though, before I do anything further. What is all this? And can it crush me? Ratatoskr flits between Yggdrasil's roots and the treetop, but its body is an illusion. Its true body lies in the underworld. Oh, very curious. That is a special looking tower up there. I kind of want to check it out. The Alpha Cirrus' Prophecy Part 5. The sun has no idea of the power head. The moon has no idea that it has power at all. Dazzling stars remain, smoke and flame rage, flames frolic in the heavens, for the mighty have vanished, for its true form cannot be seen by starlight alone. saying things are interesting, but uh, they really are. I'm just learning new stuff all the time. Anga Musica! 1,500 coins. That's something. We're going to want to check that we're going to come back here once we get that many coins. That is the uh, the soundtrack. Uh, it's the sound player, rather, for this game. Oh! <laughs> okay, game, you got me. <laughs> Let's just get the map and be done with this for now. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. There is going to be a lot more death to come up here in the Ice Fire Treetop, I think. Uh, good times. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.